One day one of my friends brought me down to an LFL um, training session and I was hooked from the get-go. It's like you said, it, I can I can bring in such feminine and masculine energy and be able to just put it straight into this game and yeah, that's how I got into it. <laughs> For me, football has been the most competitive sport that I've found outside of like college sports and athletics. Um, so I actually found it on the internet and I went and tried out and like Ty, I've been hooked on it ever since I'm about to start my third season. Yeah, I grew up playing football, you know, with the boys and everything. And then as I got older, you kind of get told that girls don't play football and you're kind of too old to keep roughing it with the boys. So when I came across the LFL, it was just a great opportunity. Like Minnie said, after college, we don't really get a lot of sport. I started playing, and in 2009, I was there at the beginning. Uh, when they formed the league and I was able to watch the entire growth and evolution of it and where we are today. I believe that women now are able to finally see a sport that allows them to use their strength. And I think it's becoming more popular because we're now receiving respect for something because people are actually watching the sport. The way it's advertised sometimes, you know, there's kind of like a common uh, misconception of what we're doing. If you come to an actual game and you see the teams out there actually hitting and actually running plays, and just how hard we practice and everything like that, you will know that it's real. Um, but you gotta be in there in person. Sometimes, you know, one person tells another person, like, oh, have you heard about this? And um, it just gives it a negative light, but you definitely just have to come experience it for yourself.